We're getting spacey with out of this world crafts. Alien accessories, a cosmic belt, and space vest, mini space shuttle, and a glow in the dark star mobile, all on hands on. Hands On is made possible by Elmer's Products Incorporated, manufacturers of a variety of adhesives, arts and crafts, and office products for use at home, school, or business. Elmer's.com Floracraft Foam Make It Fun MakeItFunCrafts.com We're all fascinated by outer space. I know I am. Can you imagine what aliens might look like or what they would wear? We're going to start out with our own alien accessories. Check out this crazy headpiece that's actually a radio transmitter to outer space and this lucky moon rock that I'm wearing. Let's see what we need to make the headpiece. We're gonna start with some craft felt in green and yellow, neon chenille stems, some wiggly eyes, a button, a headband, a three inch foam ball, some thick craft glue. You may want some sunglasses to complete your alien eyes look. Some acrylic paint in desired colors. We're using green, neon yellow, and um, teal. Some little Velcro pieces and some paint brushes. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is cut apart your, your foam ball with this plastic knife. And you can um, then form the ball, the flat part on the ball to fit the headband. So I just use my thumbs and push down at an angle and that makes a little ridge so it sits right on top of your headband. The next thing you're gonna do is cover your headband with chenille stems. And you can use whatever colors you like. There's lots of neon colors, but you'll just keep coiling around as you go and you'll have something like this. When you're finished, you'll wanna cut out some alien ears from craft felt. You can get the patterns from our website. I've gone with dark green for the ears and a light yellow for the, out of the inner ear. And you can see there's a little tab. What you're gonna do is glue your pieces together And then put some glue on the tab, like so. And then use the headband and a, and a clothespin to hold it on. And of course, add the other ear. The next thing you're gonna do is paint your foam ball with a fluorescent green colored paint. And I'm using a stiff brush to do this so it goes nicely into the pores, and you would coat the entire thing, even underneath, because you might see that. When you're finished, you'll have this little piece like so, and you're gonna put some glue down in here, and then a generous amount of glue, and then glue it right on top of your headband. Let's take a look at this one here. Now, to make the radio transmitter piece, you're gonna loop some chenille stems in half, like so, and then take a third one in the same color, wrap it around to hold those loops in place, and then make a third loop and wrap it around. Chanel stems are so easy to bend, you can make them go wherever you want. And then you're gonna take a second color, fold it in half over top the loops, and then twist it down. 
and you'll have something like this. I've gone ahead and stuck a bu button right at the end and to finish it off you're going to use a skewer to poke a hole at the top of the headpiece. Put some glue at the end of your chenille stems and then stick them right on top. Now to make it a little bit more wacky you can put some velcro dots at the end or on the back side of eyeballs or sparkles and stick them right to the top of your headpiece. So see I can take my sparkle piece off and instead because I have some little loop tape on the back I can put another eyeball. Now let's make the necklace. I've cleared out the materials to make the headpiece. Now let's see what we need to make this lucky moon rock necklace. You'll need some glitter pens, glow in the dark pony beads, some gems, the most important thing, air dry clay, some glow in the dark yellow paint, and some wire, wire cutters, and some uh, necklaces that the clasp are already attached to. You'll also need a small block of foam. The first thing you're gonna do is actually make your mold for your moon rock. And to do this, I'm just gonna show you on the opposite side. You take the end of your finger or thumb and push into the clay. And you can see, I've got mine ready. You don't have to go very deep and it doesn't take much force to do it. Then you're gonna take a ball of the air dry clay, roll it up, and then just smush it into your, I've got too much clay on this one, so let's try that again. Smush it into your mold. And it's okay if some kind of overlaps or overflows because you can make your moon rock in any size. But do you see the texture that the foam gives the moon rock? Then I've got a little piece of wire here. This is 20 gauge. You're just gonna twist it like so to make a loop and then trim the end. And you have something like this. You're just gonna put this into the rock and you wanna turn the loop so it's perpendicular to the stone and then give it a little bit more smush on top and that'll hold it in place. Now set this out in the sun to dry and then you're gonna coat the rock with some glow in the dark paint, like so. And when you get an even coat, set it aside to dry and you'll have something like this. Now you know I love my sparkle, so we're gonna add a little bit of glitter. And you can also use a paint pen to make some polka dots, like so. And I've already got those done. And since it's dry, the paint pen is dry, you can use a brush to brush out your glitter or you could leave it sitting on top of the piece like I did. You can even go right over top your polka dots. It's up to you. And that makes it all nice and sparkly. Then you can use some craft glue to put a gem or two. I'm gonna put the big moonstone right in the center. And remember, if your glue smushes out the sides like here, don't worry, it's gonna dry clear. And now you've got something that looks almost like this and it's ready to string. So you'll put the tapered in through the loop. Oh, pardon me. First, the um, pony beads won't fit over one side of the clasp. So you'll wanna slide a few of those on first. And now you can put your pendant on, string a few more beads, and you're ready to be an out of this world alien. Marisa's back and we're making a vest to wear in outer space. This thing is so cool. It really looks like a space vest. Yeah, it's practically the real thing. But. And it's got some interchangeable parts and pieces, right? Will you show us those real quick? Absolutely. So I can take this off mm -hmm. and then put this one on, right? Yeah. So we can go from earthlings to aliens. Yeah, so depending on what your imaginative play is for the day, you can switch sides, you can mix it up, and you can even make your own idea. Really cute. Mm -hmm. So we're going to need some paper bags, but we're also going to need some tape in sheet form, some scissors, a compass, uh, some tape in roll form, a special cutting tool that you're gonna show us later, and some hook and loop tape in strip form. 
Okay, let's get rolling. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bag, you're gonna peel off your handles. Okay, just That's pretty take easy. them off, so easy to do. Okay. And for the sake of time, I, <laughs> I prepared ready. these ahead of time. So you're gonna cover a bag with tape. Okay. And I suggest laying it flat, covering as you go. With, with some silver, silver tape. tape. And the last part you're gonna do is the sides. So okay. I've got that's one key. here that's fully covered, so okay. you didn't have to wait, so it's ready to go. So the next step you're gonna do is, with your compass, mark out where your holes are for, and that's your, the, for your the, neck. The, yeah, that's mm -hmm. the top of your neck. Okay, and <laughs> the pattern for this is on our website. But Oh yeah, Okay. and it's it's really easy project, so fun to do. And you're gonna do the same thing for your armholes. On mark them sides. out, you're gonna cut those out on both sides. And I've pre-marked this one, and we would uh, cut, Take a cut line. down. Yeah, we would just kind of cut down the and center. And this is where it's going to open up for the front. Yeah, so okay. that's the front of your vest. And then now I'll show you how to do the straps. That'd be great. So to do the straps, so that, that's the inside of your vest. Okay. And to make the strap, it's really easy. If we can find the end of the yeah, tape. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you just take the end of the tape and open it up and... A little sheet, you know, about yay. Okay. And then you would fold that over once like so. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then I like to fold it over again so we have no rough edges showing. Right. And you're just going to take your hook and loop fastener. Very good crafts craftsmanship. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, I like things to be always really finished mm -hmm. and this step, they actually use this on the real spacesuits. Did you know that? I didn't know that, yeah. but I'm not surprised because it's <laughs> it's pretty spacey. And it's so handy. So mm -hmm. then you would just stick that on. Okay. And then you would mark out where you're going to put your next one. Okay. And then... We're all zipped up. Yeah, and you can make patches. Let's see some patches okay. really quickly. Okay, I'll do a patch real quick. So okay. just use this to cut out. Okay. Cut out a little rectangle. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So got you got it. your rectangle. And I started one already ahead of time for the sake of time. And that's the tape sheet. Yeah, this is the tape sheet. This one I started already ahead of time and I, I already put that piece inside and, and you would just sandwich that. Okay. Between to give it some stiffness to your patch. And then you've got these other pieces that you've started kind of taping yeah. together. So you're just layering tape. And here it is finished right here. Yeah, super easy. Okay. And then you can just cut these out and put those on top and you can trim that. Okay. And so the stars are just made with layered tape. Right, love it. You can add a couple more things All here. Right. Let's, let's see how we finish this thing up. Perfect. So then you would just, you put the orange on top of the silver and I'm using the oh, backing, yeah. paper backing. Yeah to hold that roll. Reusing um, it. Yeah, I'm reusing it. Old sheets. Old sh The backing, the paper backing yeah. of old sheets is great for storing like and for making it easier to cut stuff. That's a and great then idea. You just lay that on and continue down the line. And then on the back, you would add some more hook and loop fasteners. Perfect. And an easy trick is you use that to line up where you want your patch to go. Let's put so another one down here. We could do one Why not? here. Yeah, to really. More is more. <laughs> I'm all about more is more and embellishing. So then you, you know, you can do planets, you can do anything and you've got all of these interchangeable things. And that one too. One thing I, I can't, uh, we can't go without showing oh. is this cosmic space veil. Mm -hmm. And it's also interchangeable components. I love these shades for this this alien. Those are really cool. And this crazy mouth, <laughs> mouse. This is a bonus project that you can get on our website, no? Yeah, and it's so easy to do and it's really fun, interchangeable. You can make all different kinds of faces and accessories. We're ready to take flight. Thanks so much to, <laughs> for stopping by. This is awesome. Thanks for having me. It was out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Our next project is a mini space shuttle ready for intergalactic travel. Take a look. We've got this shiny space shuttle that's complete with a booster pack when you attach this with a couple magnets. Ready to fly. Now let's see what we need to make it. You'll need some craft spoons, um, some sticker embellishments that are kind of in space theme. I've got some Americana ones and some stars, fun foam in blue and black, 
scissors, a ruler, some acrylic paint in blue and silver, silver tape, some thick glue, and I think we're ready to get started. Oh, I almost forgot, you need the spaceship body, which is actually a foam cone. So the first thing you're gonna do is cover this foam in tape. And I've already started here. And you're just gonna keep going around the cone so the pieces overlap. And you may need, oops, I don't want it to hang over right there. So I'm gonna need my scissors. There we go, get it nice and smooth. Get your scissors to trim the end. And you'll just keep going until the thing is entirely covered. When it's covered, use a little bit of silver paint to go over the bottom because you might see it if you, when you go to attach the booster pack and that makes it blend in with everything else. When you're finished, you'll have something like this. Now, to make it stand, you'll need three craft sticks, but you'll need them to cut off a little bit, about an inch. So to do that, I just already have one ready. I'm using it as my pattern. And then I use some wire cutters and I make, I just squish down just a little bit and that gives me a little um, breaking point. So when I snap it, it's easy to snap. Finish those off by painting them with some blue acrylic paint. And you'll wanna paint the entire thing, including the edges, so you'll have three that look just like this. Next, to make the booster pack, cut a one and a half inch foam ball in half with a craft knife. And you'll just wanna use a little bit of a sawing motion until you hear it break through. And you can sand the two sides together to remove the extra pieces. I've got one ready right here. This piece also will need to be painted silver. Okay, and so you'll do that until it's entirely coated. And I have one right here. Now to make the two pieces meet, you'll need two round magnets. And all you're gonna do is push those into the foam, remove it, add some glue, and then set it back down in the foam for it to dry. And you'll need to do this with both, both pieces. And we'll glue that in a second. The next thing you wanna do is break your circle up into three parts. And that, if you look at the finished sample, is where the craft spoons are gonna go in for it to sit up on. And what I do is I like to use my scissors to just cut in to the pieces. And then we'll move over a little bit. And you'll just cut about an inch and a half in. And we'll put one more right here. Okay, now use your knife again to push in. And this is just a plastic knife for styrofoam. Where's my other? There we go. And then those pieces will set right in. And you can glue them or you can leave them so they're removable. And that makes it so it can stand. Now the next thing we need to do is make a cone for the top. So I've gone ahead, the patterns are on our website, and cut a piece of foam, pat, foam and then you're just going to roll it into a cone shape, use a little bit of glue, and then use a clothespin to hold it in place and you have something like this. Now put a little bit of glue around the inside of the cone, set that on top, and then you need a little round foamy circle. And that's where you'll crawl into your space shuttle. And let's set that on its side while it dries. And then to finish off the booster pack, you'll need some metallic Chanel stems. Use a skewer to poke a hole in the top and then attach some, or apply a little bit of glue to the hole and then stick these in. And now let's take a look at our finished rocket. Remember, it's got our magnet pieces on the bottom that attach for the booster pack so it can fly 
And also, I've picked out my favorite patriotic stickers and stuck them on the side and even on the craft spoons to add a little bit of um, patriotism to my rocket. Turn out the lights for a glow-in-the-dark Starmobile. I love glow-in-the-dark things, and this thing has is full of all kinds of glow-in-the-dark elements. This cord, the beads, and even some of the paint. Let's see what we need to make it. We're gonna start with some glow-in-the-dark plastic lacing. I've also mixed in some sparkly plastic lacing. Some embellishments like felt stars, glow beads, colorful wire, some thicker silver wire, styrofoam one and a half inch ball, a styrofoam star, glitter pens, a large embroidery hoop, some paint brushes, some glow in the dark paint, and some regular acrylic paints. You'll also need some thick glue when we go to put it all together. Okay, to start, we're gonna paint the foam star in whatever colors you want. Uh, like I said, there's some glow in the dark paints, but we're just gonna start with a solid paint, and we're gonna paint the two flat surfaces on the front and back. Uh, green, I also used yellow and an orangey red. And then uh, leave this to dry, and then you're gonna paint the edge a darker blue. And it's gonna look just like the one I have here. Now, to make it glow a little bit, we're gonna use a sponge and this special glow-in-the-dark paint. Doesn't it just look like it glows when you look at it? So this, we're just gonna sponge over the surface of the star. And all of that's gonna get down in the cracks and crevices and really make this thing shine. So you'll coat the entire thing. And then the next thing is you're gonna pick some glitter pens. You can use whatever colors you want. I went with this fiery yellow and red. And then you're gonna use it like a pin. And you're just gonna squeeze it so it comes out in a line. And then what I like to do is stop and then start down here and then meet it at the point. And you're gonna outline the entire thing. This is one I did with a, glow, a gold glitter up here. Before I forget, you'll need to paint some foam balls in the same colors as you do the stars. And then to embellish them, we're gonna push some glow-in-the-dark beads down into the balls. And you'll just cover the entire ball. I've got a, a green one ready right here. So now we're ready to embellish with some felt stickers. And we're just gonna put that like so. And I've actually used two on mine and put them a little bit off center from each other, like so. Okay, now let's look at the hoop from all of the, um, that all of these stars hang from. We've gone ahead and painted a hoop blue to match. You can paint yours whatever color you want. You could even put some glow-in-the-dark paint on it if you like. The first thing you're gonna do when you get it painted is string a row of beads onto the thicker wire. And then you're gonna anchor the end of the wire with a few wraps around the hoop. And you can trim the rough edges away once you finish. But then you're gonna take it and make some curls. I use my finger and then wrap it around. And then every so often, you're gonna leave a bead in place, like so. You can always add extra pieces of wire. I like to start with a short piece like this and then um, string a few more beads and go again. But you just want the wire to look really, really crazy. And when you're done, you're gonna have something like this. Now to add a, make it a little bit more intergalactic, you can add some thinner wires like I have in my hand and wrap those around the piece as well. And these are just to add some more layers and some depth and make it all the more crazy and space-like. Now let's make the star hangers. I've got my star here. I've gone ahead and cut about a 30 inch piece of um, plastic lacing and I've made a knot in the end. I've also gone ahead and poked the end of the star with a skewer like so. And then you just put a little bit of glue down in here. 
and then push the knotted piece down into the star. And you can use the end of your skewer to help you make sure that's secure. Then you're gonna push or string some beads onto the wire, followed by one of your styrofoam balls. And I use the skewer to make the hole in this one as well. And then you're just gonna string the piece Make sure my hole's in there well. There we go. I had a little bit of foam clogging up the hole. Sometimes you have to wiggle the skewer around to get it to go all the way through. And then you're gonna slide that on followed by another bead. And then you're gonna make a knot when you get it all together, like so. And then you can string another foam ball or some more beads and you're gonna just tie it, this piece, to the hoop. When you're finished, let's take a look at the, the sample. You're gonna tie three more glow lace pieces at three different points on the hoop, bring them up to the top, make an overhand knot for them to hang from. This thing looks amazing when you're laying in bed trying to go to sleep. It's full of color and it glows in the dark, which is so cool. It's time to get back to earth next week. Hands on goes to school. Hope you'll join me for great projects and school day ideas. Projects and ideas from today's show, plus hundreds of other kids' craft projects for every occasion, season, and even school subject are available on the web at craftsforkids.com. This is show 1505. Hands-On is made possible by Elmer's Products Incorporated, manufacturers of a variety of adhesives, arts and crafts, and office products for use at home, school, or business. Elmers.com Floracraft Foam Make It Fun MakeItFunCrafts.com